Yes, baby. The water for a last goodbye. He begs so much. It clouded my mind. One thing's clear the man's gotta die. He makes right, so he said, when he hid all the keys over our head. I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn at the end with the tables turned. Lord, forgive me. Take me on down the river where the kids can't find a red hand to center. This is Bentley with Buck Down Outdoors. Heading out to the public land to squirrel, going squirrel hunting, and finding some deer. <laughs> yep. Let's do this. Yeah, there you go. We've been doing the drones out here, and riding the four-wheeler. Yep. Fished out here a couple times. Yeah, we fished. We're going squirrel hunting. Um, we got ourselves this gun. What kind of gun is it? Um, I don't know. A squirrel hunting. <laughs> a, it's, it's a 22. It's a that. 22. And we got a Glock pistol. It's not a Glock. What is it? It's a Taurus 9mm. Taurus 9mm. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Ah. <laughs> I mean, some people have been out here. We're going to head back into this piece of woods back there. It got a little too soft for my pretty old F-150, so we're going to head back in there, see if we can't find some sign. So we came out here today to scout this area out, maybe do a little squirrel hunting if we see any. I didn't know this lane was in here. The DNR must have a lane that runs all the way to the river so they can ride alongside the river and clean up brush and things like that. <sighs> Look at all those bugs around you. We laid up in bug spray so we're hoping they don't bother us too much. Mm -hmm. Bentley doesn't like mosquito bites, do you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Alright, well let's be quiet. Let's walk, look around, look for deer sign and see if we can't find a squirrel. Do this. You guys seen our video last time. We were covered in mosquitoes. So today, me and old Bentley brought out the thermocell. These mosquitoes aren't going to be bugging us much more. Let's do this. <laughs> look down. Something I always look for here out on public land is just obviously water and things like that. But I look for pinch points, maybe the way the water flows that might pinch the deer to a certain area. So we got up here, there's a river, probably 500 yards from us in that direction. Um, and then there's a creek that runs through this woods and it makes about a hundred yard wide pinch point where I believe the deer are gonna be funneling into. Cause just like us, I wanna take the easiest path, so do the deer. 
So if we can find that pinch point where they're cruising through, because last year I came out here and hunted and I seen a lot of big buck tracks, but I didn't see any bucks, but I was only out here for about two hours, mainly just on a live stream where I got dumped off on a raft. But over here, there's a big hill behind me. Well, not big, probably about 30 feet higher in elevation. Not too big, but most of this is all flat flood land, which is what I killed my 10 pointer in last year. So it's the same kind of area, but that's what I'm gonna be looking for. I'm not really concerned with the fact that there's not tracks or things like that, because sooner or later, I know the deer will be using it. There's a lot of deer out here by this river and there's not a lot of hunters. So they could be bedding out in that thick stuff. There's a bean field over here that's private, but they bed in that thick stuff, go right out to the beans at night and then go back. It wouldn't surprise me too much if they weren't in here right now. But as the season gets further and further in, get to November, I know that deer will be cruising through these woods. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for today. We didn't bring a trail camera, but if we can find a good area for just to keep in our heads for next time we come out here, that's what I wanna see. Bentley's trying to help me out. We got the mosquitoes, but they're not bothering us at all with that thermocell. You can see them flying all around us. Not one single bite yet today. Have you got any yet, Bentley? Mm -mm. Not a single one. Let's get it done. Always going to leave it better than we found it. Hope you like our videos. See you next time. All right, boys and girls, what we're doing today is we're going to take the deck off of this boat and take the motor into the shop. We're going to have this puppy cook it. Devin was underneath there. I'll show you a video of him underneath there. He was underneath there getting the bolts off. I took the last one out, you know. That's, that's where the real work gets done. We're gonna take this deck off. Devin's gonna take it to work, cut her down, fab her up. We're gonna have it looking good. We're gonna take the boat to Lens Marina yeah, West in Evansville. West Side Evansville. And he's gonna fix the motor, make sure it's purring for us. And then we're gonna take it home, probably get her painted, and it'll be ready for anything we need to do. That's right. Big bucks. What's gonna be laying up there, Devin? What are you gonna kill this year? Oh, probably, probably big one. Probably 180 inch. I don't know. About none of that. 180 inch if you go by some people's. Yeah. Yeah. You know. 580. Yeah. Double drop time, freak nasty. Gnarls Barkley. We're gonna sit up here. But that's what the plan is today. Take this baby off. I don't know how heavy it is, but we're gonna pop it off. It's starting to rain, so we gotta hurry up. They close at five, it's 2.30. Alright. We'll give you some videos of Lens. He sounds like a good guy. A couple people know him. Good guy on the phone. We'll see how it works. Lens Marine in Westside Evansville. We're coming for you. You ought to see our new merch <coughs> coming out. Got some hot gear. Just came in. I know Vance is going to be looking good in them new sweaties. Yeah, maybe these ones won't go down, you know, two feet past my feet. Devin told me we got something broken back here. This right here. It's already falling off of it. Yeah, it's not even sitting on there. I don't even know what the heck ever been, what, I don't know what that ever even held. So now it's just sitting on that, which would be alright, I guess. He guesses it'll be alright. We're just gonna go 70 down the interstate. <laughs> <clears throat> but no, he's gonna take that off, go to work again, get us a new one, reweld it probably. You know that just that dog ain't gonna hunt. We gotta have something better now. You ready to set that bad boy down and help me pick this off here? No, nah, I'm filming today. You got. It. Come on, man. I need some help. <clears throat> it's a little heavy. I don't want to help out. All right, we're heading in the truck to Evansville. See you at West Side.
that's as hard as it is the people in Alabama, but still pretty uh, bad. still puts a damper on us in the scouts today. This is what they call a toad strangler. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys. Just got to lens, dropped the boat off. They got a ton of boats out here. There she is, oh glory. The ugliest boat on a lot. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, it probably is. No, there's, it won't be for no, that. No, there's one. It's a, a couple we get of that, there. Get that motor running, get that paint job, and that boat's going to be like new. Look at that bad boy. We could go in and look at the new ones on the showroom floor. No need. I don't want to be spending any more money. We got to get over to Chick fil A, Vance's Street, and meet at lunch today. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. There it is. Yep. Plan now is because they've got the boat, we're just going to order some parts, the lights, a new steering wheel, make the deck. Well, I don't know if we can even make the deck without knowing the dimensions exactly. So we'll at least buy all the parts. I'll work on that front deck. We can yeah. get it painted. Fix the front deck, paint it, do everything, get a new steering wheel, new lights. And then when we get this thing back, they estimate about two weeks. We'll see. Hopefully so. Two weeks, if it could be three weeks. We need it by October 1st. That's right. Preferably before, because I'd like to go out there and check those cameras we just had. I would too. But now we're heading to Chick-fil-A. I think I'm gonna get me the chicken sammy. Who knows? With some Chick-fil-A sauce. I know I'm getting some Chick-fil-A sauce for sure. That's good stuff. I like nuggets too. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Evansville. Nope. In and out. Here comes Heath. There he is. What are you doing? Heath did a thing. Oh, yeah, I did a thing. Heck yeah. This is like watching your kids grow up. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What? What are you doing? Video. Peace out. I love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.